Good evening, everybody. So, three years ago, if you asked the question, what do Mr. and Ms. Campion do? You would have gotten a pause or a straight up, I don't know. So in June 2018, we launched the Mr. and Ms. Campion Foundation, which is essentially a platform for the Mr. and Ms. Campion contestants and winners to give back to the Catholic community and the wider community. 2019 was our first full year of foundation. And I'm proud to announce that we have completed multiple child projects throughout Jamaica with our contestants and with our Mr. and Ms. Campion in 2019. In January 2019, we launched a five-week program on Light Yard at Big Street called Writing for Life in conjunction with the Everything Foundation. And this essentially includes writing and composition skills in children between the ages of five and twelve years old. They compose and revise stories and create a cover art for that story, which they accept, which they eventually perform at various performing events that they're, they're going to be held for. So now I'd like to invite on to stage Mr. and Ms. Campion in 2019. Devon Ferry and Young Lady So this year, both of our Mr. and Ms. Campion have participated in the Writing for Life program for five weeks, as well as conducting their own individualized projects. Devon worked backstage at JMTC 2019 production of Annie and performed in Carnival of the Friends in Isaiah from September to October. In addition to, you know, of course, being a resident of Rivers at every camping event. Young men on the other hand, she hosted a close with a toys driving Christmas in conjunction with the Edmund Foundation once again, and collected clothes of all ages ranging from young babies to adults. They are rapid gifts and hosted a Christmas food activity to distribute the gifts to the residents of the St. Anthony's home, Mary Style, Matthew 2540, Care to Care, and Marvel's House. Campion, give it up for your Mr. and Mr. Campion at 2019. So this year, in the application process for Mr. and Ms. Campion, our contestants were prompted to propose their own child projects. And we're proud to announce that this year, our contestants have proposed a wide variety of projects, ranging from a student help student love project, which is essentially upper, student, upper school students helping lower school students with school work, environmental projects, mental health awareness workshops, green house or gardening overview to provide students as well as body positivity. And tomorrow I'm also proud to announce that the Minister Miss Campion Foundation with Minister Miss Campion in 2020 will be partnering with a global organization called Fight for Peace to host a creative writing workshop titled 2020 Vision to focus on teaching both of them on family focusing on creative writing skills in that field. So to get involved, follow us on the Minister Miss Campion Foundation Instagram page over there. Or you can send us a DM. Found out to the Summer Camp and Foundation. All the very best for another contestant this evening and enjoy the show. Thank you.
attorneys, doctors, entrepreneurs, teachers, right here at Campion College. So who is going to be Mr. Campionite tonight? Is it Colin Pratt? Is it Christian Swaby? Is it Leo Otobucci? Let's see my favorite. Do you want to see any posters in the house? Is it Nathan Walker? Yeah. How about Christopher Wright? Christopher, you got like professional crackers on it. Christopher has some fear. That's my fear. How about Miss Campionite? Is it Lord?
morning, rain in Atta, Hurdle, Forty Arm, and hit Gabia, the turtle, crazy.
for Mr. and Miss Camden in 2020.
Señor. Ah, dear. Life can put us under some serious stress sometimes. You know what I'm saying, right? Yeah, man. I have a story. I think I have been a kind of thing. This is the story of a young man named Stalin for tonight, Stalin City. You see, this starts off our story like a lot of ours. He was going through a lot. He felt like he had no one to turn to and nowhere to go. You know, he was dealing with a lot of things, things like anxiety, self-doubt, depression. And since he felt like he had nowhere to go, he decided he'd be his own best friend. He started to help himself. And he realized just what he needed to overcome these things. So what our friend did he realize was what real excellence is. And I know we've been taught that excellence is like, oh, yeah, I did this thing really well. I excelled at it. Excellence was not a state of being. It's a state of becoming. And on the path of becoming, he became a creator and a builder. Now, I may not be very creative, nor can I break from break. Break. Hey. Just like City, I can be a creator, and all of you guys can be builders. Think of it like this. A creator isn't just a creative person. It's someone who is always exploring new thoughts and new ideas, and never settling where they are. I want to say that I don't mean like tools and anything like that. I'm building things up and improving them. Like building relationships, or improving self-esteem. But let me give you an analogy. Think of it like this. A painter can be to a masterpiece, but only that. A plumber can fix any pipe issue you have, but only that. A builder builds it all. So keep in mind, though. You know, the city starts to have this effect on people. An effect like when a king walks through his kingdom, his domain. His presence is felt, right? The city had that influence, right? He started to rub off on the people around him. So much so that he started to build them up as well. You can think of his impact kind of like this. There is a huge difference between a thermometer, what you can see, and a thermostat. The thermometer, it can read the temperature. Take it somewhere in the A thermostat? A thermostat sets the temperature. So these are change whatever environment he was in. And he improved. Now, I know some of you are probably thinking, yeah, how is any of this gonna help me? I don't know it's even true. I mean no so much that I'm not gonna say, yo, see this should I come talk to it. Well, I am this. to reach out to anyone who feels they're at rock bottom and if you feel like that's where you're heading by God's amazing design we were all born with the power and ability to overcome these things we were born conquerors we were born with excellence we were born a creator I'm just 
for sure. So lately, I've decided to do some introspection, and through some divine intervention, I've come to the realization that because I'm so afraid of your rejection, I'll never reach my true potential. And that's really a shame, because there's no one else to blame, see? It's never been because of something you lack. No, you've just been the one holding you back. But I refuse to live in fear. So let me make this abundantly clear. You are, we are unbreakable, like a diamond. Let us not soften under pressure, but push back and cut through life's thin glass. Let us shine and inspire others with our brilliance, because that is our true calling. So if you ever feel like you're falling or slipping through the grass, remind yourself that you, my friend, are a diamond, and diamonds find that.
in a part of town that I've been able to see the amazing accolade that we have collected at Campo <laughs>
on lovely homes, the esteemed audience and guests. Good night, Tampere. Uh, how I would rate the infrastructure of Tampere? Well, I have been in meetings with representatives of the CXC board and they have enlightened me on how amazing we have it here at Tampere. We have tiled floors in our bathrooms. Uh, we have hand pump, we have blow dryers, we have air conditioned rooms. We have so many amazing things that we take for granted. Furthermore, the safety at the school is at a caliber that is unfathomable. Our security guards put their energy into making sure that we are safe day in, day out. And to end to end, I will rate this infrastructure and safety of the school in the words of a great philosopher. 10 out of 10 out of 10.
contestants behind me. I would consider them a family now after going through such stress getting ready for this competition. So I would say that this competition is what I would have the most ever seen.
Boy Caviar Stories, our host for tonight, and DJ Rolfo for being the source of entertainment for the evening. Thank you to Mr. Hibbert, Mr. Jervis Bridget, and the lighting staff with the help of one of our past Phoenix House Presidents, Rosa Murray. Thank you to Ms. Foster, the plant manager, for ensuring the contest always had a place to rehearse. Shout out to our student volunteers and the decor team under the guidance of Mrs. Penny Benny. And the leader team is very much by Mr. Calvin Rowe. Thank you for helping us out for the meeting. Thank you to our auxiliary staff and to Mrs. James and the canteen staff. A special, special shout out to the HSA for their generous contribution. And to you, our audience, thank you for just being here. The show would be pointless without you. Last but not least, thank you to the contestants for having the courage to do this. You have all taught me so much about resilience and thriving under pressure. You are truly all winners in my eyes.